Benji Bennett's four-year-old son, Adam, died suddenly from a brain tumor in 2007, but the tragedy inspired him to begin writing books for children dedicated to the memory of his son. And his first book, Before You Sleep, was a huge international success and won the prestigious Irish Children's Junior Book of the Year Award last year. And the winner is... Benji Bennett for When You Were Born. Congratulations. You just don't write the books, Benji. You do the whole kit and caboodle. It, it's crazy. Them. You publish them. I write or publish, you know, do all the financing. You Through know, this book, Owen hopes to spread a message of the importance of love, laughter, and play within the family. Uh, Benji, people would be absolutely fascinated with the story, and the book's beautifully illustrated, apart yeah, from anything else. Uh, I know it is quite extraordinary the legs it, it has had and the way it touches people. I do. Have you and got your head? Can I say, like, rarely I'm stuck for words, but in the past 15 minutes, you just don't know what to say. I probably read Benji Bennett's first book more than I've read any other book this is in my I life. Him, yeah. I must have read it maybe 150 times. Yes. And I've loved, I loved it on the 150th time as much as I did when I, when yeah. I read it the first time. It's yeah. amazing. I love that. <laughs> These are the business, right? My little fella is four and a half, absolutely mad about him, loves him to bits. Uh, I recommend them to everybody. Go get them, buy them, they're brilliant. Mm -hmm. so beautifully illustrated. It is yeah. the perfect children's book, yeah. and even an adult's book to read to a child in the bed at night. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Catherine Zeta-Jones, Michael Douglas and Adam Sandler are now all self-confessed confessed fans. Have you got your head around that? And w whenever I read about the books, let alone even flick through the books, it brings a tear to my eye. So well written, Benji. It's absolutely a, a, a cracking kid's book. I remember hearing Benji on the radio while I was pregnant. I was sitting in the car park and work with tears rolling down my face at his story. The story really touched me. I'm sitting here with my baby and his story just reminded me to cherish my baby every day. You're so brave to tell of your experience. And um, forget to do it. Honestly, if you have children out there or if you're a godmother like I am, buy this book. It's such a beautiful book. You've, you've turned something awful into something very beautiful. Mm. And, um, we're going to cry. We'll take a break. We'll see you in a few minutes. Cheers.